the treadmill. It helps millions jog their way to a healthy body. How does the running belt replicate the road so runners can pound out the miles? The treadmill's frame is strong, but the running deck must also be ultra stable to give a comfortable workout. The belt glides around two finely balanced 26 pound steel rollers. These run on four bearings to keep it rock steady. Six rubber bumpers attached to the base act as shock absorbers as feet pound the belt. Inside the deck is an inch thick board coated with wax. It's mounted on a hinge at one end and gives a solid surface for your foot to push off. This makes it easier on your joints, even if you're training for a marathon. The rollers must spin harder every time the runner's foot hits the belt to counter the runner's weight. If rollers and belt don't match the runner's pace, they could end up flat on their face. The computerized console sets the desired speed. Each time the heel hits the deck, the belt starts to slow. The drive system compensates for this extra impact. In a microsecond, an electronic controller detects the change of pace. It powers the motor to spin faster. This returns the belt to the selected speed to create a smooth running surface that matches the runner's stride. The never-ending treadmill is a precision-engineered, calorie-burning machine. Every day in gyms across the world, it keeps millions of people in peak condition.